Within heavy-duty industries, there is a highly common practice, the use of machinery with large capacities. The reason is simple, colossal tasks require equally massive work equipment, or at least that was the idea behind the development of these two heavy-duty machines, a bulldozer and a grader, which can be considered the largest ever built. While both work vehicles enjoyed sufficient potential to change and reinvent the large-scale construction industry, even in a bygone era like the 80s, various factors led to the outcome of their story not being as expected. Stay with us and discover the story of the largest construction equipment, the Echo Bulldozer and Grader. At the beginning of the 1980s, a very peculiar proposal arrived in northern Italy from the Libyan government. This nation had a tempting mega-construction project on par with the complexity of oil pipeline laying works, which involved moving huge amounts of earth in large desert areas. The proposal was taken up by the company ACO, based in Porto Gruaro. It essentially involved the construction of a custom-made crawler, bulldozer, and grader. The bulldozer, on the other hand, was constructed using a mix of original Caterpillar components and custom-made parts. Inside this enormous machine, measuring approximately 12 meters in length, 9 meters in height, and around 6 meters in width, were two cat engines with eight cylinders, placed horizontally opposed. Each engine boasted a power output of 675 horsepower, resulting in a combined total of 1,350 horsepower to move its hefty 183-ton mass. This power level comfortably exceeded the 850 horsepower of Caterpillar's largest mass-produced models. As for its work tools, this colossal bulldozer was equipped with a 3-meter rear ripper operated by high-capacity hydraulic rams, along with an impressive front blade measuring 7 meters in width and almost 3 meters in height. Furthermore, this bulldozer blade far surpassed the dimensions and capabilities of mass-produced models, as it was meticulously crafted and exclusively tailored for this project, meeting the lofty expectations set by the Libyan government. Historically hailed as the largest motor grader ever built, this machine was manufactured alongside the bulldozer, hence it shares certain similarities. Designed for the same project, this motor grader boasts colossal dimensions and qualities, starting with its remarkable length of 10 meters, along with a total weight that approached 200 tons. To mobilize such a behemoth, significant power is required, so this motor grader integrates two engines, one at the rear with a power output of 1,000 horsepower and a smaller one at the front with only 700 horsepower. Additionally, to address the potential issue of placing such a heavy weight on sandy terrain, this machine was equipped with six double tires, totaling 12 tires supporting the entire weight, thereby enhancing its off-road capabilities. As for its grading blade, it had a length of 10 meters and featured all the necessary hydraulic mechanisms to be adjusted and leveled as needed. However, despite everything seemingly going ironically smoothly, it was never possible to fully utilize the great working capacities for which both units were conceived, all due to a purely political factor. If you've reached this point in the video and enjoyed it, we would greatly appreciate it if you consider subscribing to the channel. To the Italian company's misfortune, just as the manufacturing process concluded and both units were ready to be shipped to Libya, the then leader of the country, Muammar Gaddafi, became embroiled in issues related to international terrorism, prompting the United States to impose severe trade embargoes, which were reinforced by the United Nations. The outcome of this significant obstacle was far from favorable. Sadly, these colossal construction beasts had to be stored in the same facilities where they were manufactured. However, the bulldozer managed to have a glimpse of usefulness when it was used for a construction project in southern Italy. Nonetheless, this operation only served to demonstrate how prohibitive the transportation costs would be if anyone truly considered putting such a gigantic piece of equipment into operation for less complex tasks. Over the years, both units became something of a tourist attraction for those who knew their whereabouts. Sadly, this was also partly because, in 2006, ACO had to close its doors, leading to the building where both the bulldozers and the grader were housed, becoming a storage facility for disused machinery. 
However, a second chance came in the form of a rescue. Six years later, in 2012, a collection of historic vehicles saved the bulldozer from being scrapped. After acquiring this monstrous machine, he organized transportation to its new location at the Bejaflor Botanical Center, where it remains to this day and is exhibited to visitors. Unfortunately, the fate of the murder grade was not as favorable. The deterioration it suffered over time left it in an irreparable state, so it was eventually disassembled and sold for parts. Undoubtedly, it can be said that the story of these creations has transcended the barrier of time thanks to their disproportionate qualities, which may even be difficult to imagine for many. Although the final fate of one member of this duo was not so fortunate, it's impressive to know that one of these machines is still preserved to this day and can be seen in person. Tell us, would you have liked to operate one of these colossal machines in the desert? Do you think they would have had a real operational utility? Do they have the potential to be built again? We'll be reading your comments. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it and want more similar content, please subscribe to our channel. We also invite you to visit our secondary channel, Gear Unlimited, where you'll find a wide variety of topics. We appreciate your support and interest. Keep on trucking and stay tuned for more.